The family that took in Nicholas Cruz says they knew that he was depressed, but they had no idea how troubled he really was. James and Kimberly Sneed let, let Cruz live in their house after his mom died back in November. Cruz was a friend of their sons. John Blackstone sat down with the Sneeds to ask about the 19-year-old's life and his history with guns. The Nick we knew was not the Nick that everybody else seemed to know. He pulled one over on us, as, as well as a lot of people. Nicholas Cruz had been living with the Sneed family for about three months when he allegedly carried out the deadliest school shooting in Florida history. How many guns did he have? I'm not sure, five or six. He was coming into your house and you didn't know how many guns he had? Um, I knew he had five or six. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind they were. Uh, it didn't matter what kind of guns they were. I, I have guns. Um, I respect guns um, as long as they're, they're handled properly. Safely. Safely. And one of the uh, stipulations of him moving in is to have a gun safe before he moved in. So you wanted him to have a gun safe, but you didn't know how many guns or what kind of guns they were that he would be putting in this safe? I know he had hunting rifles. You thought they were just hunting rifles? Well, I, I knew he had an a, a, a assault rifle. I knew it, but I, I knew he, um, he used it out hunting. And that, that seemed a reasonable thing? Um, it's his right to own a gun. And you thought it was fine for a 19-year-old to have an AR-15? It's his right to have it. Do you feel any differently about that now? No. Nope. According to a Florida Department of Children and Families report, Cruz suffered from depression, ADHD, and autism. Between 2011 and 2016, Broward County Sheriff's deputies were called to Cruz's mother's home 39 times, several of them allegedly due to Cruz's violent outburst. Didn't worry you, him having access to guns? No, he was just depressed. We thought he was just depressed over his, his mother's death. Were there any signs of trouble beyond his depression? No. We put him on a positive path and, you know, and trying to heal and he just blew it. I mean, just, just... Floored us. We had no it idea. Absolutely floored. Absolutely floored. Ruined his future, ruined the future of 17 others mm -hmm. and their families. Their families. It was a very selfish act. Do you feel any responsibility for that at all? We feel heartfelt sorrow for the families involved. As far as being responsible, feeling responsibility, you know, we worked that out and, and there was nothing different we would have done. James Sneed also told John Blackstone he thought there was only one key to the gun safe where he made Cruz keep his weapons, but Sneed now believes there were actually two keys and Nicholas Cruz had the other. Well, interesting interview to hear their perspective on all of this. Yeah, it is.